Hello, second grade smarties, and welcome to day two of lesson two in math. So we are talking about taking apart one step word problems right now. Remember yesterday we explored how we can use the story that we have to find our parts in our whole and to also figure out if we are adding, taking away, or finding a missing part. So we are going to continue to explore different strategies or different ways that we can solve these story problems. Now remember yesterday, I would read each story problem at least two times and search for any clues that might help me. We are going to do the exact same thing today. So let's go ahead and get started. It says, read the problem, then you will explore different ways to solve word problems. So here is our word problem. It says there are 15 players on a team. So I'm going to underline 15. There are 15 players on a team. There are seven girls. The rest of the players are boys. How many boys are on the team? So the first way that we could show it is to create a model. So remember, we talked about this model yesterday. It's kind of like a number bond in the sense that we have our hole on the top and our parts beneath it. So let's think about our story. I'm going to read it again. It says there are 15 players on a team. How many players total? 15. So I'm going to go ahead and write 15. It says... There are seven girls. Ooh, that box looks kind of rough. We're gonna we're gonna fix that up a little bit. <laughs> there are seven girls. So I know seven is one of my parts. The rest are boys. Do we know how many are boys yet? Not yet. So what am I gonna put? A question mark. How many boys are on the team? It also says that we can write what we know and don't know. So we know that altogether there were 15 players. We know that seven of the players were girls, but we don't know what number was boys. So if we don't know it, we can write what we do know and try to problem solve to find what we don't know. We could also draw a picture. We know that we have 15 players all together. And we know seven of those players are girls and the rest are boys. So look up here. They went ahead and drew 15 players. They showed us our whole and they compared with the part that we know. So looking over here and looking at what part we haven't used, how many of the players are boys? So we know that seven is part of that 15. So let's count how many we have. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How many players were boys? Eight, right? So now let's go over here. It says we can use a model and equation to solve the problem. So I'm gonna write down here that our boys, we had eight boys. It says, what number was the total? How many players did we have? We had 15 players, so I'm gonna put it in this box because this tells me my whole, because my whole is going to go on top of my model. What part did we know? How many girls were on that team? We knew seven before we had to find how many boys. Now it says to write two equations for the model. So when we have a model, we can do an adding sentence and a subtracting sentence. If I'm adding, I have two parts that make a whole. So what was the part that I knew? Seven. And what part would we take away if we were subtracting? Seven. All right. And it says to explain what the equation shows. So the equation shows us that when we add, we can find the missing part to count on. So we can count on to find that missing part. But if we are subtracting, 
We don't have 15 fingers that we could take away. So this is why it's important, my friends, to know our fact families. If I know that seven plus eight makes 15, when I go to subtract a number sentence that looks like this, that says 15 minus seven, because seven plus eight equals 15, and they're part of that fact family, I know that with 15 minus seven, I don't even need to draw a picture to know that I would have eight left over because when I add seven plus eight, it also makes 15. So that is what it's asking for us to explain. We show that our parts and our wholes can be used in adding sentences and subtracting sentences. So how many boys were on the team? There were eight boys we counted on and we used a picture to compare our parts and whole. There, oh, whoops, there were eight boys. Why? So now we're going to go to number six. It says, why can you add or subtract to solve the problem on the previous page? Hmm. Why can we do that? Why should we do that? What do you think? It's one of those problems that we could really add to find what's what our missing part is to make our whole, or we can take our whole and break it into parts. So when we are adding and subtracting, you have to think of what strategy is going to work best for you. If I was looking at just a subtraction problem with 15 minus seven, if I didn't already know my math facts, it'd be really hard for me to count back 15, count back seven from 15. If I know that I can turn this around into an adding sentence, and start at seven and count on to 15, I know that my missing part or what would be left is eight. Let's look at number seven. This is our last one. It says, Jen has 12 pencils. Seven are blue and the rest are white. How many white pencils does she have? All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to think out loud with you, but you have to find the final answer. Ooh, all right. So it says Jen has 12 pencils. 12. Hmm, 12 all together, which means that is our whole. So I'm going to make a 12. I'm going to make a bar diagram. Seven of the pencils are blue. Ooh, so seven can go, I'm gonna put it over here. Seven are blue and the rest are white. Hmm, how many white pencils does she have? Write an equation to solve. Ooh, so do I know how many white pencils I have? No, I do not. All right, friends, that's all I'm going to give you. How many pencils would be white? Now, remember, my two parts together make 12. So I need two parts that make 12 together, not 12 plus 7. I need 7 plus another part to make 12. Or I can have 12 and take seven away to find my missing part. All right, second grade smarties, thank you for using that growth mindset. This is really tricky, this is challenging stuff, but when we take our time, go slow and steady, look at all the parts we can problem solve together. All right, keep working hard, again, keep that growth mindset, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.